When you walk with us on a cold, blustery morning to Patty Chavez's house on Copano Bay, just outside of Rockport, remember the hurricane hit here six months ago. And these six months later, this is all she and her husband have left. I was shocked. I was shocked. I was floored. Shocked by two feet of water inside, by the roof and walls and garage ripped away, and by the before and after aerial photos she eventually got from FEMA. And shocked by the rest of her neighborhood that still looks like this, including the homes of former neighbors who've chosen not to come back at all. This was a dream. <laughs> and we want to move back in. We worked so hard to be where we were. Words that echo through Rockport, Fulton, and Aransas County where the debris of homes, businesses, and pieces of people's lives are still being piled up at the curb, where apartment buildings are still splintered and crushed cars still sit, right where they did the morning after the storm. Where only about 30% of the hotels, condos, and rental homes have reopened, and where thanks to Harvey is spray painted on the next business to be torn down. Basically, our, our lives have been turned upside down. Even at the Chamber of Commerce, where the goal always is to accentuate the positive, they admit the problem is still severe. Eight city and county buildings destroyed, including the courthouse, scores of buildings still waiting for insurance adjusters to green light repairs, and the problem of a national news focus that quickly focused somewhere else. So all of that has, co has compounded the disaster for us. So these six months later, what the Chamber of Commerce president needs most is you and the tourist dollars your trip would bring. If one person could invite one family and come on down for a day trip, that would help us tremendously. A motion seconded by the Rockport mayor who admits full recovery could take three to five years. I'll tell you what we need. We need money, manpower, and material. Those three things. Here in Rockport and Fulton, an estimated 1,300 businesses were knocked out of commission by the storm, like this massive boat storage facility behind me here on Highway 35 in Rockport. And these six months later, only about 500 of those 1,300 businesses have since reopened. But when you're faced with scenes of devastation like this all throughout town, each one of those businesses successfully reopening is worthy of its own celebration. Each business, like this liquor store that reopened last week, gets its own ribbon cutting, its own celebratory video by the Chamber of Commerce. Our main dining room. And Ramona Day hopes to be next. Mm -hmm. And we did not get electricity to this building till November. Her restaurant, Latitude, is nearly ready to reopen after the hurricane peeled back the roof and tore out an entire back wall. I have all the confidence that we're going to come back. I know that we're going to survive this. Think people it forgot about you? I know they did, and you don't hear it Rockport on TV. Even in her third month of living in an RV in the driveway of her heavily damaged Rockport home, Mary Lou Sorala offers I that same mean, optimism. You've got to have hope. I mean, because this is where I want to live. You know, I know eventually it'll be back. It's just, can we, can we stand it until then? We're coming back, and not only that we're coming back, but we're coming back strong. We're coming back better than ever. You can bet your bottom dollar on that. The city of Rockport, town of Fulton, Aransas County is open for business. Come on down and visit with us. Uh, we may not be at the level of service we have been before, but we'll get there. <sighs> As for hurricane survivors like Patty Chavez, and there are many just like her. Trying to move forward. She didn't have insurance. FEMA only offered $14,000 to tear down and rebuild the home. She and her husband took 24 years to build the first time. I don't know whether it's the government, whether it's private sector, we need help because there's a lot of people in this town that need help. All she asks is that you don't forget who Harvey hit first and these six months later, the help they still need. There's a lot of, a lot of work to be done in this town still. In Rockport, Kevin Reese, Channel 8 News.